Today I'm getting the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine and doing a vlog series about it because I thought that would be useful to some people. If what I understand is correct, these are mRNA vaccines which use messenger ribonucleic acid to get your cells to produce the proteins that would get your immune system to recognize the virus, rather than actually using a weakened version of the virus, and not needing to create a weakened version of the virus is part of how they got it out so fast. But don't just trust me on that because I don't really know what I'm talking about, I just think I do. Because every teenager ever is overly confident and literally thinks they're invincible. I really don't know why people say that though, because I'm obviously not invincible, I've gotten hurt before. So like, why would I think I'm invincible? Like seriously, why? As for health condition type things, I know I have asthma as well as allergies to eggs, peanuts, milk, cat dander, and some other thing. And I'm excited to find out what autism 2 is like, but obviously I'm faking that because I used sarcasm in this. My mother is holding me hostage and forcing me to take two ibuprofens for the headache that the vaccine might give me. Anyway, if you might find it useful, there are tone indicators in the subtitles, so you can turn on closed captions, I guess, and it'll have tone indicators. The most common ones I use are slash S for sarcasm, slash J for joking, slash HJ for half joking, and this is my breakfast for today. It's two waffles. Like, the funny thing. Okay. Here we are, We're at the, the, the thing. Walgreens thing. Where none of the walls are green, and instead they are red, which is not green. Unless you minute, have red-green color blindness. That actually did not hurt as much. Ow. <laughs> that actually hurt a lot more than I expected. Oh, because you, you didn't stop. <laughs> Let me get a band-aid on it. We're supposed to sit here for 15 minutes in case we have an allergic reaction or anything like that which I think is fine, but it's probably already been a significant number of those 15 minutes because I had to record this clip a bunch of times because I didn't do very well ever on it. It has been approximately one and a half hours, and the most noticeable thing is that a bunch of my hair fell out, um, and I also feel a little bit drowsy and slightly sluggish um, and stuff, and I had a slight headache, but all of those things have gotten a lot better over time, which is, which is good. So yeah, very mild side effects so far, I guess. I'm back home now, and I'm going to use this computer to do a compilation of moments that happened. And I'm also supposed to massage my arm so it doesn't get too sore, but I will most likely forget to do that because I'm the form has only three options for ethnicity, which are Hispanic or Latino, not Hispanic or Latino, and unknown. I just find that odd. I also found a new Game & Watch. There was also this odd-looking drawing of a car. Inside the room where they do the vaccines and stuff, there was a pill from Dr. Mario. I also discovered a shelf full of American pharmaceuticals, of which I convinced my mother to make purchase of some antidepressants. Thanks, Mom. I also saw this bug. With the sandwich I had for lunch, I ate the best type of chips. There was also this O on a door that looked like the Chad meme guy. With this, I conclude the first episode of the COVID-19 vaccine vlog series. I guess I'll just play video games now. Anyway, I, I guess you can uh, consider, like, somehow, somehow, like, 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 being able to continue watching this. Uh, Dang it! I don't know, like subscribe or something.